Hello folks, Light Mechanics 3 and we're going to look at analysis of gyroscope precession avoiding the spread of coronavirus. So here I have um, a quite nice gyroscope. It's not spinning at the moment, it's just hanging like a, a weight and you can see if I move it, it just hangs like a weight as you'd expect it to hang. It's convenient hanging this thing off a string because when this thing spins as a gyroscope, the string will effectively be a, a, a vertical axis. Now, when I spin the gyroscope, it will contain a large amount of um, angular momentum, and the direction of angular momentum will be in that positive vector sense. It spins like that, in that positive vector sense. So what will actually happen is, I'll pick it up, and it'll look like that. But of course, when it's not spinning, it just drops. But when this thing's spinning, it's got a large amount of angular momentum pointing in that direction, so its weight will cause a torque about the horizontal axis, which is why it will tend to drop. But when we've got momentum, we can only increase the momentum about a given axis when we apply a torque about that given axis. So if the gyroscope tends to drop, we can try and increase the angular momentum about that axis, which is what it will do, but if it tilts away from the vertical axis, then we haven't applied a torque about the vertical axis, we must do something to compensate for that. And so the gyroscope will tilt slightly, but because no torque was applied about the vertical axis, the angular momentum about that vertical, about in the vertical direction inertially has to be maintained as constant. So we'll see what happens. What that will actually do is cause a precession, uh, and you'll see what I mean uh, in due course. So I'll get the gyroscope spinning electric motor come on it'll spin up to about maybe a hundred thousand uh, revolutions per minute or something like that come on Okay, that will do. Turn it off and support the weight with the string and let go. It doesn't fall down to the vertically downwards orientation. It's spinning about this vertical axis, which is the string to stop it swinging in a pendulum sense. Oh, lift it up again. That's it. And let go of it. That rotation about the vertical axis is the precession. So what I'll do is I will write some notes for the analysis of the gyroscope precession and I'll publish those by uh, class email and Moodle. Okay, thank you for your attention. It's quite interesting. The uh, angular momentum has brought the gyroscope to life. It's momentum. Okay, it's a vector. That'll be all. Thank you very much.